Hey guys, what's up? It's Howard from AppFind here with another exclusive video. Today we're going to be showing you the top iPhone 5 free apps. These are all the apps that you're going to want to go straight to the App Store, purchase them, because these are all the utilities and web apps and social apps that you need to make your iPhone 5 the best mobile phone you've ever used. And also, uh, be sure to check out our other, other video, which is going to be the top games, which is going to be coming pretty soon. Um, but these are all the best free apps. They're all absolutely free. Now, there is one other thing. A lot of these apps are optimized for the iPhone 5, which means they have the 4-inch screen. Some of them aren't. Some of them are letterboxed. Now, I know some of you guys might get upset and might try and leave comments uh, about how they aren't all optimized for the iPhone 5. Just bear in mind, the iPhone 5 literally just came out today. It was just announced last week. Um, all these developers are really, really working hard to get the iPhone 5 version out there. It's just a lot of them are currently being in the approval process by Apple. So expect the iPhone 5 version to come out soon, but just don't get angry at me because I'm showing letterbox ones. It wouldn't be a complete video without those. But uh, let's check out all the apps. We're going to start it out with the news category. Uh, I've broken these down into different categories. And within these categories, the first few are the ones that are iPhone 5 optimized. And uh, the ones after that are the letterboxed ones. Um, which, like I said, will probably get optimized later on in a later update. So the first one, CNN. Absolutely stunning work they have here. You've got all these amazing articles that you can go and read in the CNN app. Um, it looks really great, works really well, you can uh, favorite all this stuff. Looks pretty cool, all in the CNN app, recommend checking that out. Now we've got Alien Blue, which is uh, obviously a Reddit client, it's really cool, you can read all this stuff, you can comment on it easily, you can share the stuff, submit your own link. Um, there's a lot of different settings that you can change, there's a pro version, uh, all that stuff, it's really cool, recommend checking that out. Now, NPR Radio uh, and NPR News are uh, both really cool applications. They'll tell you everything about all the latest news and stuff. So that's definitely something I highly recommend checking out. Now, as you can see, that one was Letterboxd, but it'll probably be getting optimized pretty soon. Now, for social applications, the apps that I recommend checking out is Twitter. Now, you can sign into Twitter. You can view the fully optimized iPhone 5 Twitter. Works really great. Looks very fluid, very brilliant. You can uh, scroll through all of your stuff on Twitter. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to log into Facebook right now. Obviously, I don't want to share any of my, my friends' details or anything like that. But Facebook is also another great social application that's fully optimized for the iPhone 5. Now, if we go out of here, you can see we've got Instagram. Instagram actually isn't fully optimized for the iPhone 5. As you can see here, at the top, it's got this litter box area at the bottom uh, as well. So basically what that means is it's not full screen, but it still looks good. It still looks fine. Uh, overall, it looks still pretty good. You know, if you take a look at it, you can't really tell the difference, especially on the black iPhone. On the white iPhone, it's easier to tell the fact that there is less space, but on the black iPhone, it kind of just blends in. Um, but obviously, we want to see the iPhone 5 optimized apps, but some apps like this are getting updated in the process of getting updated. I know Instagram's in the process of getting updated, so um, you know, hopefully it gets updated soon. Same thing with Skype. You can make calls to other people. It's really good, nice FaceTime alternative. Um, it's very clear and very crisp. All right, let's get on to the next section. Alright, the next section is music and video. And actually none of these are iPhone 5 fully optimized, but they're still really great and you really need to get them on your iPhone 5. Like I said before, if you just go around getting the only the iPhone 5 optimized apps, or you're not going to have a ton of apps because not a ton of them are fully optimized. Um, but these apps most likely will be optimized very soon. The YouTube app, highly recommend that. Really great, really cool. Um, you can uh, sign in, change your settings. What I recommend to do is uh, home feed, set it to uploads only. Uh, it's original on originally on highlights, but basically that'll just spam all your stuff. So you want to make sure that's on uploads only. You can check out all the different categories. You can search. Say you wanted to search app find. Um, there it is. And uh, you can search videos or search channels. You can subscribe and add me to your home feed. 
um, and watch all this cool stuff. So that's definitely pretty cool. Um, the app works really great. Now, uh, Vivo has all these different music videos all built into this one application. I recommend checking it out because uh, it's really crisp, really clear, high resolution. Um, it looks really good, and the fact that they have their own Vivo app is pretty cool. Hopefully, it gets optimized pretty soon. Now, Pandora is a pretty good application as well. If you open up Pandora, you can create an account, register for free, and basically you get to listen to music absolutely free. It's like your own personal radio station based on songs that you like. You can add your own songs, combine songs, and listen to as many different radio things as, as you want. Now, I can't go into it right now because I can't be playing music, obviously, on the video because it is um, you know, a YouTube video, but check out Pandora for yourself and you can do all that stuff. Now, iHeartRadio, I'm not going to go in there because it's going to like start playing but basically, iHeartRadio, what it does is it has all these different radio stations all into one. Uh, Spotify, you sign up for Spotify. You can actually um, listen to lots of different songs. It's a really, really good service. Um, it's radio-based. Uh, it's got a, different, a lot of different cool stuff. And uh, you can check out what your friends are listening to. Uh, I recommend signing up for that as well. Now, Netflix, one of my absolute favorites. Recommend it. Um, really cool. Now, unfortunately, it's not fully optimized for the iPhone 5 yet, but Netflix is really great if you want to watch all of these movies and stuff. Recommend checking out the Netflix application. Now here are two different web apps that I recommend checking out. First is Chrome. Now unfortunately Chrome isn't optimized for the um, iPhone 5 4 inch display yet. It definitely will be. We just gotta wait a little second. But as you can see here it's got a lot of cool features. Um, so if you were to go to like apple.com, you can uh, get there instantly. It's very fast. I did a, a speed test and it was faster in some instances. Uh, it looks really cool. As you can see, you can scroll around. Um, you can tap on stuff like the iPhone 5. There's a nice little switcher view and a lot of different options and stuff. So it's really cool. It's a nice little um, little break from the standard browser. And also, if you uh, turn it this way, um, it's not going to align to Letterbox either. So I'm just letting you guys know that uh, no matter which way you turn it, it's not going to fully optimize yet. But hopefully it will uh, pretty soon. And Gmail is a great app. Same thing. It's not fully optimized yet. You have to sign in. Obviously, I'm not going to show you my email. But uh, Gmail's pretty cool. It's got a lot of cool features. Recommend checking that out. Now let's get into some utilities. All right, let's open up the utilities folder and check some of these out. Now we've got our remote. Basically what remote does is it lets you um, turn on home sharing or add an iTunes library. And what you can do with that is you can listen to music on your iPhone from your computer anywhere that's uh, on your Wi-Fi network. Also, you can play songs on your computer right with your iPhone. So you can either stream or play, and that way you don't have to have everything downloaded on your device, and you don't have to go over to your computer to play it. So that's pretty cool. Recommend checking that out. Another essential application is Find My iPhone. Once you sign up, you're going to be able to track your iPhone if you ever lose it. You really need this application. It'll let you find your iPhone if you lose it. It's very essential. You don't want to go around losing your iPhone because there's no real insurance on that. Um, so you want to make sure that uh, you know where it is at all times. Evernote is a really cool app. Basically what it'll let you do is it'll let you create notes from wherever you want, whenever you want, add different stuff to it, read all your notes. Um, view different things, check out all your notes, it's pretty cool. Uh, they let you add pictures, send it by email, transfer it over Dropbox, all this cool stuff, all built into this one little application that'll let you keep all your notes, and it is iPhone 5 optimized, which is really cool. Now another cool app to have is the Flashlight app. As you can see here, it'll uh, turn your iPhone into a flashlight absolutely free. Turn it off, turn on, just like that and you can change the mode change the brightness that kind of thing it also has a little compass built in which is pretty cool but uh, overall looks pretty awesome you can see it does have a light um, and it is free so it's a nice little alternative 
to some of the ones that try and get you to pay for that kind of feature. The flashlight app works really well, but it does burn a lot of battery, so be careful when you're using it. The dictionary app is a pretty cool app too, so we just open this up if you wanted to define anything. Um, say you wanted to define car, you know, obviously you know what car is, but like if you needed to define something or have the exact definition, um, you know, a lot of different things. Um, and so you can actually look it up, you can see trends for all the stuff, um, you know, all these different things that you can look up. I don't know why a lot of people are looking up climb, um, favorites, all that cool stuff. So, you know, it's all there, pretty cool. And uh, Google Drive, this is essential. You, once you sign in, what you're going to be able to do is store all of your um, documents and all your different stuff on your Google Drive. It's kind of like a little little uh, flash drive, USB drive that you carry with you. And uh, it's by Google. It's pretty good. You know, obviously, we're all, we're all Apple fans here. But, you know, Google does make some pretty cool apps. So I recommend checking out the Google Drive app, uh, especially once you get this iPhone 5 uh, optimization. Another good app is Log Me In. It lets you connect back and forth between your computer, um, transfer files, do all this cool stuff, um, access a lot of different features. There's a lot of cool things you can do with Log Me In. I recommend checking it out. Um, there are like more pro versions, but that's the free version. Uh, Google Translate's always good to have. Now, it's not the best, but it's still pretty good. And uh, here's a hint I don't recommend using Google's voice. A capturing service, I recommend using dictation. So, um, I want to translate something. And then, uh, what you're gonna do is hit go to French right there. You can read it in French. Um, you know, it's pretty good, pretty easy. Um, it's essential if you take foreign language or any kind of classes like that. Uh, another cool thing is obviously Dropbox. Dropbox, you can share your stuff back and forth between your computer and your device. Um, it's a pretty good app. A lot of people know what Dropbox is. I'm not really going to get into a full uh, demonstration or anything like that. Photo Vault is a pretty good app. You can store all your photos in here. Make sure you protect them. Uh, sensitive photos, photos of your family, you don't want deleted. Um, just backups in general of your photos. So if you don't really trust your camera roll and it deleting, if you have automatic syncing on your computer, you want to save some photos, but get rid of the rest of the photos. It's a really good thing to have just an extra storage area for your photos themselves. Well, that's also password protected. Now you can also go into your alarm clock. This is really cool. Nice little free app here. It's got a lot of, a lot of cool features. It's got an alarm RSS feed. It's got this nice little old fashioned look. So I recommend checking that out. Um, another good app is Red Laser. It lets you scan barcodes. So, um, you can scan stuff. I don't know exactly um, what I have here to scan, but you can scan and try and go back and forth. Here, let me grab something. All right, so I have like this deck of cards. Let's scan this. Let's give it a try. You're going to tap the scan button. Ah. And you line it up. And it knows it's bicycle playing cards. And it's going to tell you where you can get them for cheap, how much they cost at each location, um, online and everywhere. And you can check your history for all this stuff. And uh, basically it'll tell you the cheapest price and the highest price. And you can compare it with wherever you're at. You can decide whether or not you want to buy it online or in a different store, if the store is close to you, check all the reviews. It's really cool. It's really an essential app to have. Uh, on your iPhone, especially when you're going places. Another cool application is Speed Test. What this lets you do is test your speed. Um, so if you need to test your cellular connection and you need to see how fast um, you download and upload, just click on Begin Test and what it's going to do is just test your speed and see how fast you download and upload at any given time. It goes to their servers. It's um, really good if you need to just be out and about and you want to test your speed, see how fast your data is and you get some nice results here. There's a lot of different um, complete analyzed. Uh, it's really cool. It looks pretty cool. 
but it also serves a function, which is always awesome. You can check out the Weather Plus application, which will show your weather. It actually shows the weather as the background behind the actual weather itself. You can go to different areas, check out what the different weather is in different locations. Now, another good app is the Applets application. It is sponsored by ads, unless you unlock the other versions, but it has a lot of different apps all built into the one. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can do. I'm obviously not going to cover all of them, but there's a lot of cool things all in that one little application. The next section we're going to look at is Commerce, and we have Groupon, which is a really great app. Basically, it lets you get Groupons in areas near you, um, all these different deals. Uh, it's really cool. eBay goes without saying, it's eBay. You search eBay for um, for different products, you can actually bar, uh, use a barcode scanner up here um, to find the products that you're looking at on eBay and see if they're cheaper. UPS, this tracks your UPS packages. It's a nice little application here. PayPal, a PayPal app. Pretty much that's it. You can check your PayPal account and, uh, and share funds. You know, a lot of these apps are simple until you need them. And then you, you, you say, oh, I should have downloaded that app. So that's why I recommend downloading a lot of these now. Craigslist lets you go on Craigslist and all that stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. You know, I mean, it's Craigslist. There's a lot of cool stuff to find there. And Amazon is pretty cool, too, because it lets you buy stuff off of Amazon. So say you use the red laser and you wanted to buy something off of Amazon, you can do it here. You can even create a wish list, all that cool stuff right here on the Amazon app. Now, there's a lot of different book apps for all you guys who like to read books. iBooks, obviously, is the prominent one. Um, this is with, um, you know, obviously the Apple-branded books thing. You can get um, a lot of different five-star books for $5.99 or less, apparently. And there's a lot of cool stuff here. You can scroll up and down, look at the top charts, top authors, that kind of deal. There's a lot of cool stuff on here. There's also uh, Kindle. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you can get on Kindle. You just log in. Um, it's pretty much the Amazon book service. And Audible lets you listen to um, audiobooks. And you can actually try the app without even signing in. So that's pretty cool. And Goodreads, you know, that's a nice app. Let's you look at all these different um, things about all these books. Um, a lot of cool books that you can find, ebooks, that kind of thing. Uh, it's just another really cool book place. And obviously Adobe Reader lets you read all of these Adobe documents, Adobe Acrobat kind of stuff. Um, it's pretty pretty easy to read all that stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then there are also some cool sports apps. If we go into sports, you can see um, there is the At Bat app, the M MLB At Bat app, which it looks pretty cool. It's got all the different scores that you like. Uh, it's got all this stuff if you follow baseball. It's got all the news, it's got all the videos, it's got all the standings, all in this one uh, comprehensive app. There are two different pro versions that you can also get. Now there's the Watch ESPN app. You can watch ESPN. It's pretty much um, pretty simple. You watch all the videos there. ESPN Radio, you listen to ESPN Radio. It's pretty simple as well. And uh, NFL uh, 2012 is here as well, and that is like MLB at bat, but it's to cover the... Uh, the NFL, so if you like football, that kind of thing. Um, it's pretty much all the standings and stuff, and some clips, and all that cool stuff. News, everything that's going on in sports is there. Now let's take a look at some of our miscellaneous apps. We've got Map My Run, lets you um, go around. Wherever you run, it's going to map your location. It's going to tell you how much you've ran and where you ran. Um, this is really cool. Apps Gone Free. It's all of the apps that went free for a limited time only. Um, let's just go through here, and basically, you choose your language, and it'll tell you every single app that's free for a limited time only. There's a lot of apps that go on sale that usually cost money, but they're actually free. You can go in this app and get all those apps for free. You save money. Now, uh, WebMD, obviously, it's health kind of thing. It shows you all the all the health stuff that you need to survive. Flashcards lets you make flashcards front and back. Um, that's pretty cool as well. Um, now, other than that, that's pretty much it. Those are all of the best free apps. 
Um, we're going to be coming out with the best games video a little bit later, maybe tomorrow, maybe later tonight. Uh, but that's going to be definitely pretty cool. So stay tuned. A lot of cool stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment in the comment section below what your favorite app is. Once again, guys, I'm Alar from Find. I'll see you guys later. Bye.